Hi YouTube, it's Paul here. Just showing you the upgrades I got from our turntable. I got two upgrades this turn this time around. So here they are. I'll just try and position this. So yeah, here they are, got ladies and gentlemen. So I got the acrylic platter and the autophone blue. Now I'll start with the acrylic platter. This was $149 Australian. A nice looking upgrade as well as a nice audio improvement. The main thing I noticed out of this acrylic platter that was first distinguishable is the level of bass. You put this on after you put after you take off the metal platter straight away, and you do not need a mat. So, in other words, once you get it out of the box, you put it straight on the needle and you and don't use a mat on it. Um, one thing I did notice, so at first it is hard to get over that bulge, over that center, center spindle. Um, the hole will open up um, slightly as you keep taking it off on and off. But yeah, that's just one problem I had with it, just letting you guys know. Um, that's the only issue I have with it really, but now it comes off quite easily, so it's not really an issue anymore. Also, this keeps the sound more accurate and more true to the original recording of the record that you're going to listen to. And I'll explain that further, guys. So with the metal platter, you got resonance. You also got a metallic like sound to your records. This completely gets rid of it. Im improves the clarity to a good degree. The treble and as I said, the bass. So it's a more centered sound. To some of you, it may seem like it's lost some treble. No, 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 no. That's just a metallic so sound gone from your records that gave you that fake like high pitched noise that you'd get out of the red. And not only that, the red also was shrill, shrill, even without the platter. So if you have a red, I'll get the platter for sure, just to get rid of some of the shrillness. So that's what I have to say about the acrylic platter. Um, and it looks very nice, like good addition to the room. The next thing, I obviously will be the autophone blue. And I do apologize if my camera work isn't that great. This, only the selfie camera works. So the autophone blue, now there's a lot to talk about. I got it for $249, but I'll simplify it for you guys and let you know what it's like to own one. Well, the first thing you'll notice is when you put it on, it sounds extremely flat at first for the first couple of records and you almost, almost be discouraged about the autophone blue. I wasn't really discouraged because I knew it had to break in. I did my research and so should you on what cartridge you get. And I landed on this one and I'll explain the reasons later. I'll get into the sound now, which is the most helpful information for you guys. Now the autophone blue, this particular one so far has done 25 to 30 hours. And I do apologize for the cars that you can hear in the recording in this video. I have to have the window open, it's really hot today. So I do apologize for the extra noise. Um, I'll just do my best to talk louder, I guess. So the autophone, right now, the bass is, is heaps better than the autophone red, right now with 25 to 30 hours breaking time. Better bass, it's clearer and the treble is higher without being shrill and that's where the autophone red failed. So it's better across the board, but there is one but, and it might turn some people off. And that one but is that it is that it lacks warmth, right? But I'll break that down a little bit for you guys. I'll try and keep it in depth without making the video boring, I guess. So, in other words, the autophone to explain it plays it true to the mastering of the record. So it won't color the, the original record. Um, for instance, if you have a flat sounding record, it won't color it to sound warm. It'll play it true to the mastering. But if you have a warmer record, there will be some warmth playing with this blue autophone, despite the, the, all the clarity um, and good treble, right? So in other words, to break it down, it plays it true to the mastering of the record, keeps it accurate as possible, and is a good addition to the acrylic platter. But just don't, don't be looking for those heart-melting, heart warm, smooth tones. 
um, that that will be colored on some other records. So that's a that's a thing to note. But it, to be honest, I had to adjust to the new sound a little bit. I was I was I do like that warm sound. But now I'm really used to it, and it still does have warmth when putting on some records that are mastered that way, right? So Audiphon have a good have have a good system that they strive for to keep it accurate as possible. And the blue with the acrylic platter definitely lives up to that. Now I got when I got the blue guys, I only got the stylus, I didn't get the whole cartridge. As you can see, I try and position the camera good. It still has a two and red, red logo there. Just this, just the style guys at the shop was two hundred and forty nine dollars. Was it? Yeah. There's. This is what came in. Two hundred and forty nine dollars. Just the blue stylus. I could have got cheap online, but I rush into things and I buy things quickly <laughs> sometimes. Um. Yeah. So that's that aspect of it, I guess. If you're looking to get the whole cartridge, it'll be over three hundred dollars easy, which can be good and bad. But the but the reason why I got the blue is so I could save a bit of money, and also in the change it with red on on records that are more damaged or just really rusty. Not rusty, but dusty is a word. Yeah, so they're the main points of what I want to show you guys in this video. You're probably asking, is it worth getting the system? Of course it is. Makes it sound a lot better. And it's more affordable than getting the bronze, which I originally wanted, but I had other expenses to get without sharing with you guys all my personal details, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so worthwhile investment. And this will last 800 to 1,000 hours, easy. Um, and make a more pleasurable viewing experience audio experience so and works works good with this amp as well man this is a good amp if you can find one of these pick it up mm, the bass is really good on it and the punchier moments on the blue autophone the bass is more punchy than the red and it's more prominent on top of that so if you're a bass lover go and get this cartridge right it's good for genres like hip-hop and all that um, that's just, that's just how I gauge it anyway, that it might be more the amp talking in that regard, but anyway, this video is getting a bit off point, so I'll end it now. So that's the benefits and the disadvantages of the blue cartridge with this, with the acrylic platter guys. And you can see I've got a lot more records these days and I'm going to do a record review. Hopefully today I'll see how I'll go. So yeah, thanks for watching my video guys, stay tuned for more, I'll try and punch them out more frequently over the next couple months, and I've got my gym video coming up too, so keep spinning those records, thanks for watching.